For today's cruise news, a woman's life is changed in the worst possible way after what was supposed to be the vacation of a lifetime turned into a tragedy. One small unintentional mistake was made while visiting a popular destination over in the Bahamas, causing her leg to unfortunately and horrifically be amputated to save her life. Now her friend is warning others so that they don't make the same mistake. Also, a cruise passenger that recently sailed on board a carnival cruise ship says that he and his mother were treated like criminals and humiliated after they brought a seemingly harmless item on board they didn't know was prohibited and was taken to the back room for question and it appears that at this point they want an apology. Move over the details in today's video. Imagine something as simple, mindless, and harmless as shaving causing you to inevitably get your leg amputated to save your life. Sounds fake, right? Something you'd only hear about in your worst of nightmares. Well, it's a real thing. According to former basketball wife star Megan James, her and her friend were visiting a popular destination over in the Bahamas. If you guys ever heard of Pig Island, they went there and they ran into a little bit of trouble. I'm going to show you a video clip and then we'll go over the details after this horrific story. If you get in the water while on vacation in foreign countries, be careful. Because one of my homegirls, homegirls, um, went to the Bahamas. Mind you, she's a model and an actress. She went to a group trip in the Bahamas. Um, she was there a couple of days. She realized that she needed to shave her legs. So she shaved her legs, and in the midst of shaving her legs, she nicked herself, like cut herself. She cleaned up her cut and forgot to bandage it up and just went to the beach. If I could recall the story correctly, she went to Pig Island. If you don't know what Pig Island is, it's an island full of pigs that just freely roam around the island. Yes, the pigs are cute. You can play with them, pick them up, take pictures with them, get in the water with them. And mind you, they shit in the water. But she went to Pig Island. The next day, she woke up with like pain in her leg, but she really paid no attention to it. It was just like a pain. A couple days later, after she got back to America, she woke up. Her ankle was swollen. She went to the doctor about her swollen ankle and the doctor was like, you know, like, did anything happen in between the time that you left the Bahamas and um, that you got to the doctor's office? And she was like, well, I was drunk last night. Like, maybe I ran into something that I didn't know about. Um, so the doctor prescribed her ibuprofen and sent her ass home. Two or three days later, her leg, she woke up and her leg was bigger than an elephant. She could barely walk. She got to the hospital again. And this time they did a blood sample on her and the results came back that she had a flesh eating bacteria, like in her bloodstream. This girl had to get her leg cut off all the way to her torso. So just a fair warning, if you're out of the country and you have any type of open wounds, do not get in the water. They do have like wound bandages that supposedly are waterproof and I wouldn't trust it because of fucking flesh eating bacteria. And like this girl's dreams of like modeling and acting are like down the drain because she wants to just go get in the water. Like what's going on in the world? I don't know about all of you, but this story definitely shocked me. When I hear flesh eating bacteria, I don't think an island over in the Bahamas. I think maybe the Amazon rainforest where really nobody ever goes or some type of radioactive lake somewhere or maybe even the Hudson River where you're going to come out, maybe not getting your leg amputated, but you'll maybe sprout a third arm or leg. However, seriously, this is a shocking story and it is a warning to all of you out there, a good one at that. I understand people are naturally going to groom and take care of themselves while they're on vacation, so they are looking fine as well wine while they are selling the seven seas and enjoying their drink packages and excursions. However, looking at this situation, you do have to be careful. It is understandable if you go to a place like Pig Island, right, let alone going into waters, foreign waters where there's kids and all types of marine life, but Pig Island in particular, like she said in the video, the pigs are pooping, they're peeing in the ocean, not to mention everything else that is involved with being in, like I said, just foreign water. You have to make sure you are going going out of your way to take care of yourself and taking the precautions, even the ones that you simply are not thinking about. I'm sure this woman here, when she nicked herself shaving, she didn't think, oh, I can't go in the water. A lot of people don't. For me, that's one thing I'm kind of a stickler about. I don't really drink foreign water in places that I go to and I travel a lot just to be safe. If I cut myself, yeah, chances are I'm not going in a lake. I'm not going in an ocean. I'm not even going into a kiddie pool or hot tub personally. What's crazy about this story and the most terrifying to me personally is that had this woman not gotten her leg amputated or gone to the hospital when she did, there is a very high likelihood that this flesh-eating bacteria would have killed her. She would have gotten dead, which 
obviously would have been a very horrible situation that her, her family, her loved ones would have been involved in all over a simple nick from shaving. Moral of the story here, look after yourselves, especially when you are on vacation where you can seemingly just kind of zone out a little bit here and there. Even though you're on vacation, whether it be going to a resort, another country, a cruise, you have to remember that you are still living in the real world. Something like this, obviously it is a freak incident that took place, but if you decide to go in the water, yes, make sure you don't have any cuts if you're going into foreign waters. Make sure you go get a of course, all of your shots out there, all right? That way you can avoid sicknesses. And of course, like I said, this is me just maybe being, I don't know, a little too detailed in particular, maybe a little paranoid. I don't really drink foreign water. I'm in Mexico a lot. Don't drink the water over there. Even when I brush my teeth, I use bottled water and just uh, do what you got to do to keep yourself safe. Next up, imagine with me, if you will, you board a cruise ship and you are immediately taken to the back room or as many people are calling it, the naughty room at the security office for interrogation because you decide to bring a hygienic item on board that will clean your clothes. I am talking about, of course, a portable washing machine. Before we get into that, as many of you know, on a cruise ship, it's a very touchy lay of the land. There are a lot of prohibited items in contraband. You can't bring candles on board. You can't bring hair straighteners. You can't bring extension cords, even though some people do. However, it is a fire hazard. You also can't bring any drugs. You can't bring, well, prescription, of course. You gotta have, obviously, the label and all that jazz, but you also can't bring any weapons naturally. Bringing any of those items will cause you at the bare minimum to have those items confiscated at least until the end of the cruise, or there is the potential for you to face fines, banning, or even jail time. Obviously, the level of punishment does depend on the severity of the infraction or a crime, depending on what has taken place. However, in this situation, it's all started with John Hell being vocal about what's taking place on board cruise ships and people bringing presumably prohibited items and them simply not checking what is allowed on a cruise ship and what isn't allowed on a cruise ship. The passenger in question that was sailing his mom on the Carnival Cruise decided to bring, I believe it's called a cuppet portable washing machine. The ambassador of Carnival Cruise Line, John Hell, said he had never even heard of those. I mean, honestly, I hadn't until maybe a year ago. I didn't even know that was a thing. However, they are not allowed on board cruise ships. This passenger tried to bring it on and sneak it into one of the bags. Maybe not even sneak. According to him, he didn't know. However, when it was discovered that he brought that item, he was taken over to the security office and questioned. From there, he says that he was degraded and treated like a criminal and just downright disrespected. Honestly, I don't know what this man and once he's not going to get an apology for him simply not looking at the rules and guidelines let's be honest however nobody really does but i don't believe he was banned i don't think he was fine i don't think he was kicked off of the cruise ship for that cruise that he was sailing on so personally i don't really see a big deal i personally think he's just being a little sensitive about it and yeah probably was a little embarrassed to be taken to the back room for bringing a prohibited item but it is what it is i would of course encourage all of you to check and make sure whatever you're bringing on the cruise you're allowed to bring it if you want to play the game and try to sneak it just understand that you're free to do whatever you want there is the potential for consequences for that infraction if you decide to do it to wrap all of this up i will at least give a shout out to carnival cruise line they are one of the few cruise lines out there where at least on some not all of their cruise ships they have a laundry room that you can indulge in to wash your clothes during your cruise many would argue that if you bring a week's worth of clothing or you i guess organize it right you don't need to wash however anything could happen you could stain your shirt, get some wine on it, you could get anything on it, or you just pack light for your flights or what have you, or you have another trip. I travel a lot. There are times I might do a back-to-back, -back, or at one point I got a cruise and I got to go over to Europe after, and then I come back on a cruise. People would need a laundry room for many a reason. I'm a big advocate for cruise lines pushing to have more laundry rooms on their ships, at least one, maybe a laundry room, an ironing room. That would be very nice. But of course, let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section below. Of course, hit that like button on your way out. Subscribe if you haven't already. And know as usual, I love and appreciate every single one of you. I'll see you later. Take it easy.